Hey guys, Alan here. Welcome back to the channel and thanks for watching. Today I got some cool parts for the Dodge and uh, it's gonna make aligning the rear end a lot simpler. It's gonna make life a little easier and of course it's gonna be a little cooler. I found these. Of course there's other available ones out there, but I found these at Max Peating Rods of all places. Um, I mean, I've heard about them. I just kind of forgot about them. I actually bought some turbos from them over a year ago. Um, but they've actually been around since like 2006. So they're, they're on 15 years now. Um, doing pretty good, I guess. Their website has completely been redesigned. It looks amazing from when I last remember looking at it. And, and they got a ton more parts. I don't know if they always had that many parts or, or if that's just a recent thing, but the whole rotating assemblies, cranks, pistons, rods, you know, turbos, throttle bodies, um, anything you can think of, oil catch cans, you know, and then suspension, of course, too, coilovers, all kinds of kits, tons of kits for great prices. Like these right here. Like I said, you can find others out there for near a thousand or over a thousand for some kits. These guys right here are $167 for this pair. And these are for the, uh, the, the top most arms on the hub assembly. You've got like a forward one, you've got a rearward one, you've got a bottom one, and I think there's even another forward one, like two forward ones, but this is the topmost one that will directly uh, control camber the most. Um, for 167 bucks, they come with these polyurethane bushings. They might even have some spherical joints you could swap out, or you can just go buy some universal ones and swap out spherical joints. I thought about doing that, honestly, when these showed up. Um, I looked at these and was like, oh my God, I think I can swap those out. That would be so cool. The thread pitch is different. This is a, a finer thread. These guys are a coarser thread. I don't know the number because it didn't come with that info. The adjustable end here, so you can actually um, adjust it while this both ends are bolted on. So you don't have to like take out the bolt, turn it a half a turn and you know put it back together and check it you can just do a little tweak here a little tweak a little more tweak you know, just like tie rod ends that have the adjusting sleeve that connect the inner and outer tie rod ends it's just for camber and then that's what i bought these for not for tie rods but for toe the toe arms the rearward control arms in the back i bought these because those can be relatively straight with just a slight bend in them and i thought i could i might be able to bend them uh with my bender there if i really needed to or i might just do straight bar i'm hoping to just do straight bar and with the spherical joints yeah, it'll make up for the bend that needs to be there and all the you know motion but i got these from spl parts and uh i got a set of right hand thread and i got a set of left hand thread I think it was called the Tortoise um, Fastener Company, but then on the invoice it said something like the Mutual Screw Company, and I think that's hilarious. So, oh no, 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 that's, that's what it was on the website. That's what it is, guys. That's why I picked them, because their name on the website is Mutual Screw, and I thought that was hilarious. And then they came in a box with Tortoise Fastener Company stickers on the box, but Anyways, they had cheap uh, left-hand thread um, jam nuts you could get. And so I bought them in bulk, all the same size, 5 8 uh, by 18 tap. And then the reverse, the left-hand tap right here, 5 8 by 18 left-hand tap here. So I'm going to go to my local store, get some super thick aluminum just like this just like this and see if I can tap it myself, put those on and then I've got control arms for 
camber on the top and then toe worms for the rear. But back to Max Peating Rods, check them out please because they did me a huge favor and I want to pass on the favor to you guys. They gave me a code, uh, maxpeatingrods.com obviously. Go to the checkout and type in Gibson and you'll get 15% off your entire order and with warehouses all over the world, including the Czech Republic, uh, they can ship within 24 hours. So um, check them out because I am definitely going to keep shopping there more often. They've got lots of, of parts that'll work just fine for great prices. They actually are sponsoring some drift, some drift drivers. Drift Masters European Championship and the 2020 British Drift Championship champion, Dwayne McKeever, and the 2019 British Drift Championship uh, champion was Oliver Evans. And again, sponsoring all over the world, all, all countries, it's awesome really cool catch these guys while they're you know on the up and coming they're not i wouldn't say they're young but i mean you know 15 years isn't old right so right now they're doing everybody huge favors they're trying to grow fast they're trying to spread the savings to us and right now i'm trying to spread that to you so again Code Gibson, G-I-B-S-O-N, at the checkout. You'll get 15% off your whole order. Well, on another note, how come you guys never told me about this? All my viewers out there, no one told me that I put this spring and perch kit in upside down. Can you believe that? I'm disappointed, guys. I'm disappointed. You're supposed to know everything. You're supposed to correct me on everything. So now, I gotta see if I can get that perch and spring out and flip it around. Looks like these shocks are already leaking, so that's awesome. Um, and that toe arm, looks like you would need to put a bend in it just to get it away. It's hard to say. Maybe. Yeah, because otherwise during the cycling, the arm would run into this. So. But this is the arm we're replacing right here. We will... Hopefully... I just realized that's got a curve in it to go around the spring. Hmm. I think what I'll do though, just unbolt the shock and get something underneath here so it doesn't just pop on me but uh, i'll have to disconnect the sway bar too to allow it to drop but yeah get a little jack and disconnect those bolts up there disconnect this um then we can try to get that out and this out all right i got the pieces out that guy was not easy to get out and it did rip the rubber um, from forcing it in there because the diameter of this is larger than the diameter of this so now actually and I want to thank uh, see and I want to thank I don't know her name but she's on one of my Dodge forum channels and she showed me a picture of her Magnum and uh, it was another language, so it didn't translate 100%, but I got it, basically, hey, idiot, your stuff's in upside down. So thank you to her for that. So now I can put what left, put what I have left of these rubbers in the place. I'm wondering, that's not gonna go. There was a, uh, oh, well, 
there's this nylon thing. I think there was another one. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to try to use this or not. Because this, I mean, I know that goes in the top. It did it, it did it one time. This thing is meant for the top up there. I'm not sure which way this should go, but I'm going to make it easy on me and put it in that way. Now, is that going to be okay? Am I going to have to take the rubber out? I don't know, but I think for now we're going to put the rubber in. Okay. It's a start. It's in. Force it. Oh, shit. See if we can get the camera to adjust. Nope. Okay, so I got it in, and we're really super close to the spring. We're, gosh, <laughs> so close. It's nuts. Um, when I tighten that back bolt, that might suck up to the right of hair. I have no idea what's going to happen. So. But it's getting dark, and that bushing is not happy. I mean, that's interesting. Huh. I can't tell. Oh, I guess it's just the arm that's kind of crooked. Those are next, though. Those two arms are next. All right. I'm going to button this back up. Screw the shock back on, put the tire on, drop it down. And then tomorrow I'll do the other side. And we'll get a look at the new height. See if we got to raise it back up a little bit. Well, I got the other side on, and it is hot out here. I got Mama Bear building a new canopy for me. <coughs> Here's what the spring and perch looks like in the correct position. Now, the other side ended up being about a half inch taller after I did this. Um, that could just be because it's bound up a little bit. I'm not sure, so I'll get the tire on this side and uh, roll it up on the ramps maybe I don't know. maybe i'll just roll it back and forth and see check the heights and make sure it's all still level all the way around um that's gonna do it for today guys i uh, appreciate you hanging in there and um you know thanks for watching and also on another another note, check out the garage. It's all painted, all organized. I got the grinder, chop saw, bender, welder, world's sturdiest eight inch drill press turned into a five foot drill press. Yeah. Super sturdy, it's all good. Made a shelf. Um, got the engine for Project Smog Legal out there, the AFR heads, 
and the rockers. This is just kind of mocked together real quick, just so I could get an idea. And apparently, apparently I got the wrong heads. I went and looked again, and AFR does not make heads for that generation. I got heads for the generation before. And how I know is because of these two bolt holes right there. Um, they're supposed to be laid more flat like these outside ones. Um, it's just a different angle in the newer generations. They put these center bolts at a different angle. So I got to look around and see if I can, what it takes to carve that out. That's a slippery slope because that's my only manifold. And there's no turning back if I start carving on those bolt holes. And then if I take it to the smog shop and they say that those heads aren't legal for that truck, then I gotta, I gotta do something else. I gotta find some different heads and then I gotta find a new intake manifold because I modified that one to fit those heads. But that's a story for another time. Stick around, um, I will be getting on that hopefully sooner than later. Um, Let's get this thing on the ground and see what it looks like with all four tires on it. Well, that's going to be it there. It looks pretty good. I didn't have to adjust the height or anything. Um, the control arms are clear of the springs. I was worried about that, but they clear. I don't know if this thing will see in there, but uh, now I can get that camber on the back tires dialed in just perfect exactly where we want them both sides can be perfectly even and then um i can make those toe arms and we'll get the toe dialed in perfect too uh, but that's probably going to be another video um, but i think that's going to be it guys so thanks for watching hit the like button if you like oh and I do want to say something about those Godspeed coilovers um, as far as like an update on the ride quality and everything. Uh, they suck. Yeah, they're both shocks are leaking and they're not, they weren't very stiff when they were brand new. Um, the rear ones weren't because the front ones I couldn't really test because they're loaded assembly with the spring around it. So I couldn't really tell how good the shock is. But the back shocks were soft to begin with and they're both leaking and they're just junk and for seven hundred dollars i should have just went to max peating rods for half the price and you know got a it would have been it couldn't have been any worse it couldn't have been any worse than these pink ones um but it is what it is we live and learn and uh, it still looks pretty cool lowered so um well yeah tell me what you guys think subscribe and hit the bell so you can see the next videos and um, thanks for watching. Have a good one.